bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Uh, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there, dose the guards with his military-grade LSD, and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. Got the case that... Syringes in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. If they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Jim Crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga, that's they job. Had me out there, fucking asked me where I got my car, where I'm from. You best get in that uniform, or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Look like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for old Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. 
get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? You ain't been get them folks their drinks now. Stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfuckers. to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duvall is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that... Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the Mister, way I don't know what you think you saw. I to saw Remy. my client with that Marcano woman. I know Mr. DeGamo's here, and I will go to the police. Hey, let them burn their bras. Just makes it easier to see what they're working with. I am Whatever you say. Shame we had to let her go. <laughs> She's been with us since our boy was in diapers. But you tell me, what was she thinking? Letting her son into our pool like that. First, Boy. It makes me what yeah, you I mean, every last goddamn dime is gone. Jesus. What am I gonna tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. Because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. It was just a little blip in the market, that's all. Oh, is that a new outfit? Oh, it looks on you. Anyway, I told you, your money's safe. Just give me until the end of the quarter, and Thank I'll you. give you all Yes, he square. was a good man. End of year, tops. Sure? Get over here with that bottle, man. Yeah, well, she's my wife, and I shouldn't have to beg for it is all. Gotcha. Just give it time, honey. It's all right. He's resting with Jesus now. Hey, bring that bottle over here. My condolences. Okay.
man dingo, nigga. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. on the moon, I could give a shit. Cause they're all gonna be white. Fuck them. Man. Hell with that, man. I'd think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, what? you, me, him. We're all connected. Huh? See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> Goddamn Donovan. Yes. These people are ah, smart. I see Remy. Something Quiet. is wrong. Get me out of here now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say-so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them all come <laughs> down with some kind of... What? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. Shoot that bastard! I'm assuming we ain't grabbing a beer after this. Got a shooting gallery. Bastard got my trap. <coughs> He's gunning us down. Taking cover. Ah. Get your head down. <laughs> Ain't nothing romantic 
about robbing and killing people. Well, maybe not. But it certainly was exciting. <gasps> Where's de Garmo? in a building down by the wall thought you were going to kill me you ain't worth the trouble Do not fucking like. <laughs> Y'all sit on that shit. Don't let him get at it. Asking you a second time, boy. You the sign over that land? Hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not, I'm not signing a damn thing. Like a lake. What a you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, they get still near. Not a sign of a hand just vanish. Maybe I should look over there. He's dead. <laughs>
Christ, my hand is ruined. I barely even knew Remy. can help. Stop the car, I want to get out. That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay, thank you. You saved my life. Don't miss me. with me and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. want sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. want boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Lincoln once told me he couldn't tell any other cheek. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. When I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt, while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? 
Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy, but there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson. Another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. <laughs>